Today we're going to be checking out MSI's new GT70 Dominator. Now there's uh, two different variations that they make. There's just the Dominator and then we have the Dominator Pro. The difference between them is the video card that's in it. Uh, the Dominator Pro is going to have a slightly better one. Uh, right now it is the GTX 880M. So it's the brand new one, 8 gig video memory built into it. Uh, the Dominators, the non-pro versions, they have the 870M in it. Uh, there's a 6 gig version and there's also a 3 gig version of that video card. Um, the CPUs are going to be a little bit different all between them. The Dominator Pros that we have, there are four different ones. So there's the 1039 model, which is the one that we're looking at today. And it comes with the pre-installed i7 4930XM. So Intel's current top dog mobile processor is going to be in this one. The other ones, there's three other ones, 888, 889, 890. Those are all going to come with the i7 4800. So a nicer upgrade than what's normally uh, pre-installed on there. Normally you see more of the entry-level i7 processors like the 4700. But these, uh, the pro models anyway, are all going to include uh, the 480s. Um, and actually the non-pro dominators also all include the 480s as well. Uh, what you're going to find, there's a total of nine different models that we're going to have from MSI. Beyond what was just mentioned there, there's going to be differences in hard drive configurations, RAM configurations. Uh, instead of going through all different nine models, uh, we're not going to really go over those right now. You can check those out on our website. And of course, with Exotic PC, we offer a lot of customization options. So you can pick and choose, uh, configure it how you want, and you can really make a lot of them similar to others. So thank you for taking the time. We're going to check out this computer. All right, let's talk about this model in particular. Uh, again, this is MSI's GT70 Dominator Pro. It's currently their flagship model. It's going to come with Intel's top-of-the-line CPU. Uh, right now, it's the i7 Haswell 4930MX, and it's a 3.7 to 3.9 gigahertz CPU. Graphics card is currently NVIDIA's top-of-the-line, and it is the GTX 880M. It comes with 8 gigs of video RAM on there, which is, you know, extremely high right now for uh, any type of graphics card. Um, system RAM comes included with 32 gigs. The hard drive configuration, they are using their uh, Super RAID 2 on this model. There are three 128 gigabyte MSATA drives, and those are in their Super RAID 2, which is pretty much RAID 0. And then you have a one terabyte 7200 RPM for storage on there as well. Well, let's take a look at the keyboard. Uh, with this GT series and with a lot of and uh, pretty much all previous recent GT series, MSI has used Steel Series for their keyboard on there. They're continuing with this, as you've noticed with the accessories, a lot of Steel Series included with that as well. Uh, that is the backlit multicolor programmable keyboard. Uh, considered one of the best keyboards out there. Uh, really good, nice and solid. You know, on your regular typing on there, you're not really going to get any flex. Uh, with any keyboard though, if you try to make it flex, it's going to, but you can still feel it's very solid. There's a good back plate underneath of that. Uh, so again, Steel Series keyboard, you can control a lot of those colors in the uh, included software and make it whatever color scheme that you like. For the sound system, MSI has brought back Dyna Audio on here. It's been very popular, considered some of the best quality sound you can get out of any notebook computer. Uh, the GT70 models, the GT60 Dominators are both going to carry them regardless if you get the Pro or not Pro or whichever video card that you get, you're going to get the Dyna Audio sound. Uh, let's just go over the other panels or the indicator lights that we have up top here. Uh, the first one is going to be your media player. So you hit that, media player pops up. Second one next to that, this is going to be your cooler boost. So if you need additional cooling, you push that, the fans ramp up pretty much instantly, gets you lower temperatures. Next to that is your indicator, or excuse me, your, your keyboard on and off. So if you need to turn off your backlight, you do it right there, on and off. Again, you control the lights through the software that's included. Power button right in the middle. Then you get your airplane mode. So if you need to turn off your Wi-Fi, just hit that. It'll turn that off for you. 
And uh, after that, we got our uh, it's a built-in display, so you can toggle that on and off if you want. So if you want the power or the the LCD screen on, off. That's how you do it, and then the G panel, and really the G panel is so Windows 8 mobility thing, uh, kind of just a software that MSI includes with the computer. So that goes over the top panel for you. All right, let's go ahead and check out the ports that are included with it. Very similar to the previous GT models here. Really didn't notice any change. Uh, on the very left, we got one of the exhaust ports. We got two USB 3.0 ports following that. Then we got your memory card reader here for secure digital, another USB 3.0 ports, then you got your audio jacks here. So like usual, you got your headphone, uh, microphone, line in, line out, spinning off to the right. You got your indicator lights there as well. Uh, so what we got is, uh, let's take a look here. Um, there's the Bluetooth, this is the first one, Wi-Fi. Then you got your battery indicator on there. It is unplugged right now, so that's why it's not lit up. Uh, you got your sleep mode and then hard drive activity. We'll spin it off to the right side. And again, with like the previous models there, another USB 2.0 ports there, two of those. Got your optical drive. And spin it off around to the back. Uh, a faux vent, you know, nothing there just to keep the same look on the left side and the right side. Uh, but again, it is just blocked. Kensington lock, AC adapter. Ethernet port. Then you got your uh, three video connections there. So it's the VGA mini display port, HDMI. Then you got your second exhaust port there. Now with the Matrix, uh, the MSI computers can do three external monitors at the same time, and that's how you hook it up with those three connections there. And then we're just going to hand it off back to where we start, back onto the right side there. So the ports again, very similar, exactly the same as the previous GT models were. All right, we're gonna take a look at the viewing angles as we like to do. Uh, again, this one's very similar to previous GT70 models. I believe it is the same screen. I could be incorrect about that, but let's go ahead and spin it off to the side there. And you're gonna see, again, holds up very well until we're almost right even with it there. Uh, and this is a TN panel, not using the IPS yet, 1920 by 1080 matte type anti-reflective spin off to the right and just about till we're dead even there so again really good viewing angles on it you can see the brightness shift a little bit but that's a more of the the camera settings instead of the the computer i'm gonna lean it back and let's take a look at it here about as far back as it's going to go and let's pull it forward and before it gets all the way down uh, you might see the screen shut off just as a um, kind of its normal behavior once Windows thinks we're going to close the computer so we'll go down as far as we can and there you go so open it back up so again MSI does a really good job with the um, the screen there, as we like to do, we're going to run 3D Mark Vantage here. Uh, I got the microphone set up so you can hear how the vents are going to kick up while you're gaming, kind of get you an idea of what to expect uh, noise-wise from the fans. We're also going to run our FLIR gun and get you some thermal pictures so you can also see what kind of heat is generated when you have the computer under stress. All right, 3D Mark Vantage is all done. So you can see the score here, 28,664. So it's just a jump up above the previous generation. Um, we got the temperatures off to the side there. I don't know if you can see those very good, but we're looking at the CPU temps maxed at 93 Celsius and the GPU maxed 
at 88 Celsius. So good numbers, nothing to worry too much about. You could probably use a little icy diamond, a little bit better thermal compound on there to get those temps just a little bit lower. You'll also notice underneath, I've ran some uh, disk benchmark programs since this does have the Super Raid 2 with the 3M SATAs on there. The easiest one to read, Crystal Disk, uh, the sequential read 807 megabytes per second, write 736 megabytes per second. And off to the left of it, it might be a little bit of too small of text for you, but it's a TTO benchmark, one I like to use, uh, showing very similar numbers there on the write speed. We got up to 778 megabytes per second and read speeds up to, oh, looking about the top there, 849 megabytes per second. So I'm a little bit higher than that, um, but right in that range. So we're seeing about the same numbers back and forth between Crystal Disk and ATTO. All right, with the RAID setups here, we're going to show you what the boot time is like with those MSATA drives in the Super RAID 2. So I'm going to start from a cold start, so I'll just hit the power button. And we'll first get past the post here, which is always the longest before it starts reading from the MSATA drives. And that's it. So we're on the desktop, full desktop control right here. So the whole time, I'd say probably that was what, maybe 15 seconds, including the motherboard post. All right, we're taking a look at the bottom of the computer here. Right here is where the battery goes. I've went ahead and removed that, made sure I unplug the power as we're gonna open up the bottom panel to take a look on the inside of it. Uh, just a point right here is where your subwoofer is. But to remove this, there's a, a few screws in around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're gonna wanna remove those. And then a few latches that kind of hold it apart. So you wanna start back here, start prying up around the edges. Eventually this will pop off and then you can move it right off to the side there. All right, now we have the bottom taken away. Just going to go over the components inside. Here's your three MSATA slots. Again, those are all 128 gigabytes set in RAID 0, also known as Super RAID 2 is what MSI calls it. Uh, you got your video cards underneath here. Uh, you got the heat transfer pipes above it. Copper goes off to the heat fins where the fan is, and that is going to uh, dissipate the heat off uh, either side here for you. And then over here, you got the CPU. Again, heat transfer pipes, copper heat transfer pipes. They kind of all share each other here. You'll notice one here. Uh, so all the heat gets pulled off, sent out of the computer. You have a two and a half inch hard drive bay. This is a one terabyte, 7200 RPM. And then you have your two RAM slots there. Uh, those right now have eight gig sticks. This model does have 32 gigs. You'll see two RAM slots here. The other two are on the other side of uh, the computer is underneath the keyboard and that's also where you're going to find the wireless card. Uh, so you can upgrade uh, a few things in here, the hard drive, the RAM, um, the MSATA drives. You might not need to since this comes pretty well decked out, uh, but if you wanted to, you definitely can do so. All right, we're going to take a look into the BIOS. So how you get into it, computer is completely off. Hit the power button and then continually press delete. And once the computer gets going, you'll see it get into the BIOS. So we'll just go over the, the different windows that we have here. Main screen, not a whole lot of information that you can get, just like any notebook. It's going to be kind of limited to the BIOS. Uh, you got the model numbers, the GT70 2PE, um, also known as the Dominator, is what they're calling it. You got your system date and time, your SATA information, and it's going to tell you the disks that are in here. So you have the one, two, three, 128 uh, MSATA drives, got the one terabyte drive, and then you have the Blu-ray player on here, uh, and then an empty SATA slot on there. So uh, the Blu-ray drive, it is a reader, writer, can also do CDs and DVDs. So we'll go back, system information, and basically tells you your BIOS version, EC version, CPU on there, the speed of it, uh, all the RAM that's installed on there, basically what's in your computer, hardware-wise. We'll go into the advanced. Uh, a lot of this stuff you won't need to mess with, but if you want it, it's here. 
PCI latency timer, SATA mode selection, you want this at RAID since it has those three M SATA drives. If you get a different dominator that does not have that, you'll probably want it at uh, the AHCI mode on there. That would be a single non-RAID selection. Uh, the eye charger, um, so you can continually charge if, even if the computer is off, but still plugged into your AC adapter. Intel speed step technology, again, that's when you hear two different uh, ratings on gigahertz, say 3.7 to 3.9, that's referring to the speed step technology. Rapid store technology, uh, that's going um, towards your RAID setup, gets you that faster read write speeds. UFI BIOS update. You, this is how you update the BIOS. USB configuration, uh, legacy support. Um, that's really the only thing that you may need to change in here. And then we're on the boot. Um, the numlock state, if you want your, your touchpad numbers on or off when you turn it on, most have it on. Um, the display when you boot up, fast boot times, boot mode select and then the boot order here. So you can change it if you want to have uh, the CD boot first if you're formatting Windows, installing a new version on there, you'll want to move that above the hard drive uh, and just basically change anything that you need there. Security, you can install a password if you want to and then save and exit. So we'll go ahead and uh, F10 and that will Save the configuration and reset. And just another quick look at how fast the boot time is. All right, that's gonna about finish up our look at MSI's new GT70 Dominator. Uh, again, this one is the Dominator Pro with the 4930XM and the GTX 880M video card on there. So if you're looking really for, honestly, the top of the line, everything, best CPU, best GPU, 32 gigs of RAM, three M SATA drives in RAID 0, basically as fast as technology is right now in notebook computers, this has it all. Uh, you can also consider, if you, you know, if you don't want top of the line, top of the line, the other GT Dominator Pros and GT Dominators are still going to be really good ones. Should have them all listed on our website here pretty soon with a lot of configuration options. So be sure to check those out. Subscribe if you like the video. Well, we definitely plan on continuing to do more and more of these and take a look at the brand new computers as they come out. All right. Thanks for your time today.